Today I'm going to show you how to check out pressure transducers with your meter. I got a comment and the question was, hey, can you show us how to check those? So I'm going to show you how to check those. So we're going to look at the two plugs for the pressure transducers. And it's hard to see them, but you've got a plug on the bottom right here. And it's got a blue and a white and a black. And then you got a plug on the top here and it's got a red, a white, and a black. Okay, the one on top with the red wire is for the discharge. The one on the bottom is for the suction. Now let me explain something to you. It's recommended that you check the discharge pressure transducer when the unit is off, idle. Why? Because you have to record the pressure with your gauges. See, I've got my gauges hooked up. You have to record the pressure with the gauges and the discharge pressure transducer is located on the discharge line, okay? The high side gauge right here, the high side hose, is hooked to the liquid line service valve. And there's a difference between the pressure at the liquid line service valve and the pressure where the discharge pressure transducer is located because there's a pressure drop across this coil from that liquid line to the discharge line. So the unit has to be idle for you to check the discharge pressure transducer. For you to check the suction pressure transducer, the unit has to be energized and operating. So we are gonna check the suction pressure transducer first. Now, for measuring the input, you should have five volts DC. So you're gonna to wanna to take your meter and put it on volts DC. For the output, the range should be in between uh, 0.5 to 4.5 volts DC. So we're gonna check from the black to, and it's hard to see this, but I'll show you guys where I put my meter leads here in a second. This is what a pressure transducer looks like right here. And it screws on to a fitting like this. And there is a Schrader core that it depresses inside here. So if you ever order a pressure transducer, this is what you're gonna get. I've got a video on how to replace, go check it out. If you're ever checking a pressure transducer, you wanna make sure you record the pressure, you check the voltage, but you also take and disconnect the plug. This is the harness that comes with the pressure transducer, or it doesn't come with it, you have to order it. But this right here is the plug. So you wanna make sure that when you take it off, that everything inside looks nice and neat and not corroded. And when you're measuring with a meter, you take and you put your meter leads one on the red and the black like this. Of course, we didn't do that. We did it like this, right? So red and black, and you should have five volts for your input and then black and white, and that should be your output. So that's how we're measuring that. Just want to show you that. And remember, you want to put it on volts DC. Transducer is a device that converts an input signal from one form of energy to an output signal of another form of energy. But we're going to check from the black to the blue. Okay. You see that? I've got about 5 volts DC. Okay, that's the input. And then we're going to check from the black to the white. Okay. And that is the output and you're going to record the pressure see this 2.6 that's for the suction and then you're going to go down here and you're going to measure your pressure your pressure is 125 135 uh, 140 it's 140 so you take 2.6 volts which is the output of the transducer and then you take 140 and then you look at a chart uh, you can get that chart uh, through HVAC Navigator, upg.net, uh, and then you can look at that chart and look at the output voltage, which is 2.6 from the suction pressure transducer, and then the pressure, 140, and those two should correspond. Now, if it's out of range, you need to check the electrical connection on the actual transducer itself. If you don't know what a transducer looks like, I've got a video on how to replace a pressure transducer. So go check out that video, it's down below, and that'll show you what it looks like and the electrical connections. If the electrical connection is fine, you take it off, you look at it, and nothing's corroded, everything's fine, it's connected really well, and the pressure's out of range, or the, uh, the output's out of range, then compared to the pressure, then the pressure transducer is bad.
and that's a way to tell if it's bad. Now, I'm going to go ahead and measure the uh, discharge pressure transducer, um, and we're going to go from red to black for the input. Okay. Now, remember for the suction, it was blue to black for the input. Okay. But for the discharge, it's red to black. See. 4.9, that's like five volts. That's what we want, that's our input. And then our output, black to white, see? Two volts DC. Now I'm gonna get over here so you can see where I'm putting my meter leads. That right there is where I put my meter leads. I checked from black to blue for the input on the suction pressure transducer and I checked from black to red for the input. We should have five volts. And then for the output, I check from black to white on the suction pressure transducer. And then on the discharge pressure transducer for the output voltage, I check from black to white. So let me show you the schematic. Here's the schematic, suction pressure transducer, discharge pressure transducer. So go down here. These are the connections right here. And we've got V, S, and G. So V is the black wire. For both of these, G is the blue wire for the suction pressure transducer and G is the red wire for the discharge pressure transducer. So we check from V to G and we should have five volts DC for both of these. That's the input voltage required. Now we check from V to S and we should have uh, in between 0.5 to 4.5 volts DC uh, for each one of these. Hope you enjoyed this video about checking a pressure transducer with your meter. If you need more information, comment below and let me know what you need. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell ding so you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.